Hi guys, so today I thought I would do a 90s inspired tutorial as well as some first impressions. So let's go. So to start off, I'm going to conceal my face first and I'm using the Maybelline New York Superstay 24 hour corrector and I'm going to use this for under my eyes as well as any dark spots I have on my face. And for foundation, I'm using the Maybelline New York Fit Me Matte and Poreless foundation and this is in natural beige and I'm just applying that by dotting it all over my face and then using a blending sponge to blend that in. I can probably skip this but I'm using the MAC Celestia press in NC35 to set my face and it's not so much 90s but it is a bit of a flashback because I used to use this religiously. For my eyebrows, I'm using the Milani Easy Brow in Dark Brown because the 90s were all about dark, bold eyebrows. Now for the eyes, I'm using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer to prime my eyelids. And I feel that the 90s is not so much about blending different colours, but more choosy, natural, earthy colours to bring up the eyes. So I'm actually using a MAC Shimmer Blush in Sweet as Cocoa to apply that as eyeshadow on the crease of my eyes. And just giving it a subtle blend and then darkening the sockets with the everyday natural I Do Declare eyeshadow. And then I'm also going back with the She Select Press Powder to highlight my brow bone. That's it for the eyeshadows. So moving on to eyeliner, I'm using the Too Faced Perfect Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner in Perfect Black. And I'm just applying that to as close to the lash line as possible to tight line my eyes. And I'm not creating a wing effect or anything. I'm just purely tight lining that to make it more bolder. And this eyeliner was really pigmented. So I also went through and used a blending pencil brush just to clean it up a bit. Um, not so much smudging it, just pretty much to clean it up. Now moving on to the lashes, I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I feel like the 90s were all about the natural lashes, making it as bright, bold and volumized as possible. I don't think there was much false lashes going on. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to apply a shitload of mascara all over my natural lashes. And the 90s was also about lip liners. So for my lips, I'm using the NYX Lip Liner Pencil in Ever. And then I'm going over that with the NARS Audacious Lipstick in Jane. And don't forget the blush. I don't think they got much tan or bronzers back in the 90s, but I'm using the MAC Shimmer Blush in Sweet as Cocoa. The same one I used for my eyeshadow to apply a bit of colour on my cheeks. And that's pretty much it. So before contouring, strobing and blending, this was how simple it was to apply makeup in the 90s. So now moving on to my first impressions. So I have a few first impressions for you. The first one is this Maybelline Fit Me foundation. Um, Maybelline has a fit me in like a dewy, shiny kind of range, but this is the newer one in matte and poreless. And I don't so, know whether it was just the Woolworths I was in, but there was only three color selections, which was like an ivory beige, um, natural beige, or a sun beige. And the one thing I have trouble is when every time I try a new foundation is trying to figure out what the hell, which color I am. Because I don't know why, but every brand has like a different color range, like kind of similar beige, natural golden. That's pretty much what I look for. But because there was two types of beige, um, I kind of stood there for a while and got confused on which one I got. So I decided to go with a natural one, which is slightly lighter than the sun. Um, but now that I've put it on, I think it is a little bit lighter. So I don't know whether it oxidized or not, but yeah, it's a little lighter. But I guess it really goes well with this 90s look because I feel like a lot of 90s foundations or seem a little lighter. Well, I don't know whether that was the trend. But um, yeah, that's the only difficult thing I had trying to find it. Um, I guess get the right color. But the bottle itself, it's pretty much just like a normal bottle. There's no pump or anything. Um, this is great if, you know, you like to mix your foundations to get an um, exact colour. But I don't really have any problems. Like, you can still put it, pretty much pour it out, etc. It may just get a little messy, especially if you don't have the lid on properly. But, yeah. So, with the actual consistency of the foundation, I did find it quite creamy and it was really nice to apply. But the only thing is, it does tend to dry a bit faster. So, I found it, because usually I dot my face with... 
uh, foundation and just go through with a blending sponge but I found it really hard blending it once I got to the top or the last lot of foundation so it does dry quite quickly and the packaging itself it's matte and poreless so it says here that it mattifies and defined pores um, it is it my face doesn't feel dry well actually so when I apply the foundation on it actually feels quite nice like it doesn't feel um, shiny or anything and there's it's not like greasy or anything like that so it feels really nice and it definitely does define pores which is really good but the only problem is is that in air in dry areas it does emphasize that a lot so in this area here it does look really nice because it gives a really nice matte lightweight flawless look um, but areas like under my chin where it's a little bit more dry it just looks a little bit flaky um, so I do recommend if you are using this to put a shitload of moisturizer on um, and primer as well because that will tend to happen and because it doesn't actually say it has any um, SPF in it but I do kind of feel like it has like this layer of white um, in it as well, which I don't know. Maybe it's just because I got a light colour. I don't know. But um, in terms of every day, I think it's good because it's pretty light. It gives a nice medium coverage, which is really nice. The only issue is obviously if you have dry spots, then, you know, it might come up a little bit more. But if you have like an oily skin, or something like that then I think this will work out really well especially yeah if you have oily skin but that is my review on this so the next lot of favorites came in a set and it's the Too Faced five star favorites and this is seriously an amazing idea I really love it and I think all makeup companies should really get on board and have like little sample packs because this one comes in a set of three and it comes with an eyeshadow primer an eyeliner as well as a mascara and I think it's a good idea because it only costs $28 and it's a good way of sampling the products like sometimes you don't want to buy the full product because it costs a lot of money you don't know whether it's good or not and a lot of times where you can try it in store you can't really get a good idea of whether you like it or not so something like this where you can use a couple of times um, to get a fair idea of whether you want to continue using it or not but yeah so the main reason why I purchased this because I wanted to try the Too Faced Better, Better Than Sex Mascara and I've heard a lot of good reviews about this online there's quite a lot of hype on it so I thought I'll give this a go um, I was a bit reluctant in buying the full product because I don't know mascara isn't one of those products that I really really love I'm constantly trying to find a good mascara but it's nothing that I really it's not one of those things that I hype about so yeah and this one so it looks something like this which has a really nice decent big brush on it to give you a lot of volume and um, I don't know like I don't know what makes mascaras different whether it's like formula or not this one I think I'm more I like the ones that come with little fiber bits because it actually you know make your eyelashes look longer this is just like a normal mascara there's no fiber or anything in it um, I don't know why it's better than sex because it just looks like a normal mascara to me when I did apply it on I found it that it did go on quite nicely like there was no clumpy bits or anything like that which was really nice um, it did volumize it a little bit like I wouldn't say it volumized it a lot but when you apply bit by bit it did gradually build up a bit which was really nice um, but yeah, it doesn't, it was quite messy to apply. It did take a while to dry, but once it's applied, it does feel quite nice and light as well. But yeah, the bottom lashes turned out really well because it didn't clump. So I guess this is better than a lot of different mascaras, but it's not something that I would really hype. So I'm kind of glad I purchased this and not the larger one because I've got other mascaras that do pretty much the same thing, but yeah, so set. the set also comes with a Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer, and this is one of their long-time products that they've had for a while. I purchased this um, a few years back, and I never really, I don't really use it as much, but I feel like I need to use it because I have like three of these already, and the reason why is even though they sell the product by itself 
they also give it in a lot of the palette sets and things like that as well so if you are looking at purchasing eyeshadows and um an eyelash like an eyeshadow primer then hold off the eyeshadow primer because a lot of palettes like i know urban decay gives you like a little sample of their primer but i also got one of these in one of the Too Faced um, palettes as well so that's a good thing about some palettes that come with like little extras so this was in also included in one of the palettes so if you don't get it and you really want it then you can go ahead and buy the big size but apart from that this little bottle like this little tube here will last quite a while as well so yeah and another thing that also came in the palette which i didn't know is this toothpaste toothpaste Too Faced better no wait let me start that again so the set also came with a Too Faced perfect eyes waterproof eyeliner which looks like this and this is something that i actually already have as well which i didn't know because this was included in the better than sex palette which looks like this um i usually when it comes to when you get extra stuff in palettes i don't generally use it or kind of don't notice it because i feel like you know they're only putting it in just to get rid of the products so i thought this was like a dodgy eyeliner so i didn't really use it but i did use this one and i actually quite like it that it wasn't until I noticed the packaging was the same that it was exactly the same. So I will actually continue using this because it works quite well. What it is, it's a normal eyeliner and it's very black and very, like seriously, you don't even have to go through with a heavy hand. You just like lightly apply it on your eyes and it comes out so black and pigmented as well and it glides on really nicely. So this is really nice. Um, it's smudge proof and waterproof um, with the smudge proof it does kind of smudge a bit but it's not too bad like I think when you wear eyeliner you kind of get used to not trying not to smudge your face anyway um, this one okay so it did smudge quite a lot but it's only because I just applied it and um, if you let it sit for a bit and let it sit like it doesn't smudge as much after and it's pretty waterproof as well so that's really good the only thing i'll have to say about it because the formula is really good that it does tend to get quite messy especially when you like the ring around the product sometimes when you apply it it does get quite messy so just keep that in mind and don't apply it with a heavy hand um, but it's quite once you apply it, it's quite smudged like you can smudge it which is really nice it gives you like a couple minutes to play around with before it kind of sets and yeah so i really like this i really like this pack and i think you know this is just good in general i don't see a fault and i think this is perfect for like you know little kk gifts and things like that or just little you know little cheap presents i guess but this is a really nice set so i do really like this so my last favorite is this lipstick from nars and this is from the audacious lipstick collection and to be honest i purchased this because in my previous first impressions video i purchased the semi matte one and it was i was contemplating whether getting that one or this one but i thought i would buy the semi matte one because it was more of a matte, I'm more of a matte person, so I thought I would give that a go. Which, to be honest, I think I made the wrong decision. So, I went back and I bought this one. So, this is the Audacious in Jane, which looks something like this. Um, it's just pretty much like an everyday, everyday kind of, you know, corally kind of mauve, light lips kind of colour. And, to be honest, I really like this one and I regret buying the other one. Because this one, the, everything about it is just a lot better. So the packaging, what I love about the packaging is that it looks normal, slick, black. And it actually has like a magnet thing. So you will never have the problem of having the lid come off, which is really, well, nice. Um, the formula of this lipstick, it's quite creamy. But it also has like a nice matte finish as well. So in terms of the matte level, level, I would say this is more of a semi-matte than the other one. Because the other one was just, I don't know, this one just kind of felt like more of a full matte than a semi-matte as it's supposed to be. But 
yeah so that was the one that I purchased the other time and this is the new one so I'm quite happy with this one and I do recommend this one than the other one and also the packaging okay it might just be the packaging but the size of it I feel it's quite worth it because it's more bigger as well so that is all of my first impressions and this makeup tutorial. I hope you like this look. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe to watch more videos. And if there's any other look you want me to try or attempt, then leave a comment below and let me know as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.